Hello everyone, this is Vertic Designs here, and in today's video, we are going to blur out a background in Photoshop. Now, just like any other project, you will have lots of different ways of doing it, and that is completely up to you, but in today's video, I'm going to cover two different ways, and possibly three, of how to actually do it. Now, the three different ways is pretty much all about the style and the way that someone else might want it because not all of us want the same result. So if you want something different, then keep watching the video and watch it all and I'll go over how to do all three of them. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is obviously you want to have your image, find it where it is and just drag it in. Once it's in Photoshop, you will now want to go over to where it says background and just double click on this lock. If you don't, then it will stop you from doing a lot of things and it pretty much gives you hardly any permissions to do anything. The very first style is that some people like to blur out the edges and that gives it a little nice effect which looks kind of like the image is focused more in the center and not just the one object. If you want to press Control J, this will give you another layer. What this does is that it'll make another copy of layer zero. So now that we have two, you want to click on the top one, go to filter. In here, you want to go down to blur and then go to Gaussian blur. This is all up to you, however much blur you want to add to it. I think I'm probably going to go with about somewhere around almost, let's, let's just go with 10. Once you've done that, press OK. And then what you want to do after that is you want to go on the left side of the screen and go to Eraser Tool. At the top, you want to go to the size of it and just change it to something that's not too large. So I think maybe 500 would be good for me. Possibly 600. If I can get it, I'll just type it in. So 600. Once you found the right size, all you got to do now is just focus on the bits you actually want to focus on pretty much everything else except from the edges. And that gives it this effect where it focuses mainly in the middle. So how we can see in real life, our eyes focus on the center. They don't focus on the edges. And that's what this effect is. It's still a pretty cool thing to do, but what most professionals do is that they focus on the object rather than everything else. And what they'll do is they'll go around the object and then blur everything else except from obviously the one thing. And that is the next thing that I'm going to show you how to do. If we get rid of this layer, we are now focused again. Just like I mentioned, the other way is what professionals would do. And that is to actually go around the object and only make that area focused. But the thing is, is that there's two ways of doing this. And the first one is the one way you go over it really quick. You get the eraser tool, you put it to a lower size. You do what we did before. Let's just copy this layer. So control J again, go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. Select how much you want it to blur out. If you want it more then increase it, press OK. Once you've done that, you pretty much go around the image. The smaller size, the better. If you can get the eraser, eraser tool. And just keep going around it until you get all the object. And as you can see, everything else is now blurred out except from the object. However, for me, I personally don't like this one because you can still see that if we zoom in, you have a little bit here where it's still focus so the background is still here and it doesn't look very nice it looks okay but it doesn't look too good that is when we go over to the left side again and we go to the pen tool what we're going to do is undo all of that get to the part where it's all blurred out you trace around the object as if you're going to remove the background let's start at the bottom if you hold alt and use the scroll wheel to go up this will zoom in and pretty much start to go around it. If you're new to the pen tool and you don't know how to use it, I would recommend watching one of my other videos, which will teach you how to use it properly. It is called how to remove a background in Photoshop or how to cut it out. I'm just going to quickly go over it really quick. And in the video, I'm going to speed it up. Stop. 
Another thing I forgot to mention is that Control Alt and Z will undo. So if you do something wrong, press all those three buttons at the same time and it will undo it. And to redo it, it is Control Z. Finally, we are now at the end of this. To connect it all up, you click on the very first point you created and wait for the icons to pop up. If it's a plus, then that's wrong. It has to be a little circle and you just click it. Once it's connected, you can now zoom out and see if the image is what you wanted. And for me it is, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the top where it says selection. And in here, I might actually change the feathering to two this time. But if you're looking for a really sharp sort of result, then keep it on zero. But I'm going to try with feathering of two. So it gives it a little bit of a blur. Because as you can see, my character right here does have some areas where they need feathering. For example, the feathers. So in his uh, armor this bit here will need a little bit of feathering rather than just a sharp sort of outline. Once you've done that, just press OK and this will highlight your image. Go to the very first one, so layer zero, and do Control J again. This will just cut out the character so it will separate it from the background, as you can see. And we can also see that the feathering did apply because it made it slightly fade out a little bit on the edges so it's a little bit soft. Now that we've got him cut out, all you do is go back to layer zero, which is the background, go to filter, go to blur again, and then Gaussian blur. And this is just where you select it. You can have it all the way up. This would just make it only select the person, but I think that would be a bit too much. So let's go with probably between nine and 10, I would say, or 12. Maybe that's a bit too much. Let's go for something like eight and that will do. Press okay. The rest of the things you can do to the image are pretty much optional. One of them would be to go to layer one and go to filter, go down to sharpen and sharpen again. This will make it sharper. You can also apply some other filters such as saturation to give the image a bit more color or if you wanted to, you could go to brightness and contrast and probably turn up the contrast a little bit. I would say maybe a little bit more. So the image looks more natural and it's like actually there. Before I end this video, there's one more thing that you can do and that is if you have any other objects that you want to focus on. So for me, I think it'll look better if I made the building a little bit more focused. And to do that, I forgot to keep an original image underneath this. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to drag in another image, which is the original, and that will make it focused again. Go over to the left side of the screen to the erase tool. This icon will pop up and press left click, then press OK. This will make it so that you can actually edit the layer. Once you've done that, go back to the pen tool, go around the area, It doesn't have to be too neat because the feathering will take care of that. Go back to the first one and connect them all up. Once you've done that, selection again, feathering at two, press okay. And we are gonna do control J again. 
we don't need this layer anymore so you can now delete it and as you can see now it's focused on the player and the building itself but I still think that the building needs a little bit of a blur and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the filter at the top go down to blur Gaussian blur and then make this go to at least a three or two I would say let's go for two we don't want it too blurred out and press OK and as you can see it looks slightly better because the background is really blurred out the building is a little bit and the character is full-on sharpened and focused on i hope this video was helpful give it a thumbs up it shows other people that it was a helpful video also if you'd like to see more tutorials in the future from this channel so subscribe if you would like to do that leave a comment on what you think of the video and until next time i will see you in my next video bye